Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we're at Disneyland to take you on a full tour of Disneyland merch style. We're gonna show you every store in the park and what they have to sell, so let's get going. And of course, we're gonna start at Main Street with the main gift shop, the Disneyland Emporium. Now, this is a huge store that has just about everything that you could want at Disneyland. We are not gonna be able to look at every single item in the store, but we will highlight a few key items and show you their prices. And right here front and center is some 2024 merchandise. This is the style, bit of a retro color scheme here. Let's take a look at these prices of the shirts. And it looks like $34.99. How about the long sleeve? This is actually a sweatshirt and it's $54.99. So that's the sweatshirt. And the zip up hoodie is $59.99. This water tumbler here is $29.99. They even have some light up ears and it says that it, the price is lavender. If we can find that pricing code somewhere, we'll show it to you. They even have a 2024 exclusive Disney Parks lounge fly and that's going to be $78. Here is a whole stand of different mini ears. Ooh, we've got a Pirates of the Caribbean one. I like that. And we have some Star Wars ones. Let's see if these have prices listed. There it is, $34.99 for every single one of these ears. So the other ears are probably pretty comparable in price. I doubt they're any more expensive. This is a new style I have yet to see. Looks like we've got all of the key park icons. That lounge fly is a little bit more expensive at $88. They're really liking this plastic ear style uh, lately. Now this one does not light up because there's no like battery compartment up here as there usually would be. But this is that new style. And the price on these is actually $39.99. So it is a little bit more for some of the exclusive ones. They actually have a whole line of merchandise based off of this theme. So this is new, uh, probably within the last couple of months. I haven't done a merch video since the beginning of December. So yeah, since then, this has come out. They've got some photo frames, some albums, and also an ornament. Well, this one's an ornament too, but I like this one better. And I'm glad I like this one better because it's $19.99, whereas the bigger one over here says it's $34.99. So right here in the store, you'll notice this wall, and then they've got that upper balcony thing there. Over here tends to be the limited time merchandise, the dated merch, the if they have anything seasonal going on, like this whole display we just talked about is over here. But then when you cross the divide and you go over here, this is general merchandise that I feel like is usually here. It's like classic, the same style of merchandise that, that you'll be able to find all year around. That's gonna be in this side of the store. And it looks like we have some tumblers over there. We have some mugs over that way. And then this side is backpacks and t-shirts. We even have some onesies there. And a whole wall of different lounge flies. In this side of the store, we have some more Minnie Mouse themed merchandise, as well as some trading pins you see over there off to our left. It actually looks like we just have some Fab Five stuff here. Daisy, Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, all of them. Now the stores on Main Street mostly all connect. So we're stepping into a different store and you can tell because of the theme change. Over here we have a whole bunch of different stuffies that you can take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at one for pricing. And James picked Baymax. He wants to look at Baymax, so that's $34.99. In addition to stuffies, this store is home to toys. So bubble wands, bath toys, figures, that sort of thing. And Buzz Lightyear immediately caught my eye and his price is $34.99. Benjamin noticed the train going on the top here. Isn't that super fun? And our last store in this string of stores is a bit finer of a store, but it's got all Disney Wish merchandise in it right now. So if you're looking for Asha merch, this is where you're going to find it. Like this lounge fly, which is valued at $78. If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have questions about what you're seeing, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Well, we just came out of that storefront right there and we entered all the way down there at the Disneyland Emporium. So now we're gonna keep going up this direction. There are more shops on the right-hand side of the road, but we are going to ignore those for now. We're actually going to hit them at the end of the tour. We're gonna stick with the left-hand side and then work our way around the park and back. Apologize for the wind. 
And we're gonna go into the Penny Arcade next. This is actually the Candy Palace, but there's some stuff that you can purchase in here besides just these wonderful baked goods. And those are gonna be some Disney Munch, Munchlings, I almost said Munchkins, Munchlings, as well as some food, snacks. We've got some uh, gummy insects, it says, and gummy monkeys, and uh, <laughs> child eat frogs. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then just a whole bunch of other food items in here. We've got some tea, too, tea and coffee. And here's a quick look at the coffee prices and the tea prices. And that building wraps around here and it continues going with more snacks to look at purchasing. To our right is the refreshment corner, but this tour is not covering food. If you would like to see my food tour, I will put a link at the end of the video and down in the description where you can check that out. Right now we're going to head towards Adventureland and actually, no, I lied. We're gonna go to Frontierland first. There are only two store locations in Frontierland. The primary one is over there, Pine Air Mercantile, and we'll get to that in just a second. But we're gonna go over here to the Westward Ho Trading Co. first. And this is where you're going to find pins for pin trading as well as Magic Man Pluses. Here is a look at those pins as well as the different pin prices. Now, as with the Emporium, we're going to come in here, but we're actually going to come out all the way down there. So it's a big store. A lot of what you're going to find in these stores is, you know, quite a bit, a lot of the same merch. As you see right here, we have that sweatshirt that we saw over at the Emporium, as well as that whole line over there and this stuff over here. Same stuff we saw at the Emporium, but I did notice as we walked in that this display we did not see over at the Emporium. So they do have unique merchandise in each of these stores as well. You just kind of have to look around. So this is the Play in the Park series, and uh, I'm assuming the prices are pretty comparable. We'll, we'll check one of the shirts. Well, I wasn't able to find a price tag on the shirt, but this uh, hoodie here is $54.99. So I feel like that is pretty comparable to the the other merchandise of this style. Check out this shirt, best vacation ever. I love it. I feel like we didn't see this in the other store. This is one of those pokey Starbucks mugs that I don't really like because it hurts to hold, but they have them here. I feel like they might actually have more 2024 merchandise here because I don't remember seeing these ears with the like glitter in the ears. They're like bubble-like. They're also a lot lighter than the other ones. Look, here's a whole bunch more of the play in the park style. Now, all of that here is in the primary store under the Pioneer Mercantile sign. But if we turn, we can actually go into this other portion of the store where they have even more merchandise. And here's a lot of classic Mickey and Friends apparel. I see hats and shoes there straight ahead. And then as we pan, we have even more. You'll just have to explore the store to see everything they have to offer. Now from here, we're actually gonna head back towards the entrance of Frontierland and zip on to the right over into Adventureland. If we highlighted every single item that was in these stores, this merch video would be like two hours long. So this little pathway right here connects Frontierland and Adventureland. And our only merchandise location in Adventureland is gonna be the Bazaar, which is this building right here. So let's head on in and see what we can find. Now most of the front displays in stores are going to have your like new or limited time merchandise. So we have a lot of stitch, uh, different apparel mugs, things that you can find here at the Adventureland Bazaar. Of course it's going to be uh, mostly like Hawaii or Africa themed here in Adventureland. Hence we also have Lion King merchandise in here. And some Encanto merchandise. But one of the key things they're gonna have in this store is also Indiana Jones hats and jackets. Ooh, check out the price on one of these hats, 110. Here's a slightly cheaper one at 84.99. And the leather Indiana Jones jacket, 99.99. We have made our way to New Orleans Square now. We're gonna find a lot of stores here. This whole little hallway, whatever you wanna call it, corridor is filled with stores on either side. And the first one is Haunted Mansion themes. You will also find Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise in here in addition to Haunted Mansion merchandise. So you can come in here and have a look and see what's here whenever you know, you're available, but this is a dedicated store all to Haunted Mansion. Here's one item that they have because Valentine's Day is coming up. So we have some 
Valentine's-esque apparel. But this is a very quick look at the standard merchandise that they would normally have in this store. Right next door is Pieces of Eight, and this is the Pirates of the Caribbean dedicated store. Everything in here is Pirates themed. Including this outfit for Red. How fun is that? They have some additional hats, hooks, swords, and more. Oh look, there are those ears that we saw in the Emporium. They have them here, and check out that lounge spot. That looks really cool. It is the, the gel cell scene. And that lounge fly is $78. Our last store to highlight a bit closer up is going to be this green building in front of us. It's Eudora's Chic Boutique. And in here we will find New Orleans, Mardi Gras, and Tiana themed merchandise, including beignet merch. This is also where you can buy the Café du Monde beignet mix, as well as these fun beignet all day items. Now the rest of the stores back here are like jewelry or perfume or like this is a whole Pandora store right here. So we're not looking at every single one of these. They do have them back here, but it's a uh, pretty niche merch. In fact, the one coming up here on our right is all crystal, crystal store. Well, we have come a long way now. We left New Orleans Square behind and we're going to head down into Critter Country now. And our first store is the Briar Patch to our left as we enter the land. And in here, you're gonna find a lot of hats and mini ears. Lots and lots of choices in here. We've already looked at the pricing on a lot of these items. I'm just showing you what is available. That was just a quick peek in that store. Now we're going to head down here to Pooh Corner. And Pooh Corner is located down here at the exit to the Winnie the Pooh attraction. When you first come in, you're going to be greeted with the food portion of the store, which is very similar to Candy Palace in all of the snacks and goodies that are available for purchase, both pre-packaged as well as the baked goods from the display case here. But there is more to this store. We have stuffies. And if we keep going, they do usually often have some exclusive merchandise in this half of the store. So we'll see if we can find any. And here it is, the Winnie the Pooh line of merchandise, including those Winnie the Pooh ears. I love those ears. They have so much here. You can come and check them all out. We've got a stuffy over there, a piglet t-shirt, and a, a pillow, <laughs> a big pillow of Winnie the Pooh's head. Let's see what that costs. And that pillow is $44. $4.99. Here is a closer look at those ears. They have a little bumblebee on one of the ears. I love it. And a closer look at the lounge fly here. That price is $78. And this alarm clock for $39.99. It looks like they also have the Play in the Park line of merchandise in this store as well that we saw at Pioneer Mercantile. So as I said, a lot of the stores do have some overlap. However, they also have unique merchandise that is worth checking out. That's why I recommend poking around in every single store. In fact, it is my recommendation that you don't actually purchase anything on the first day of your trip. Unless, of course, you're only coming for a single day. I highly recommend that you look around, check out the different stores. If you see something you like, take a picture of it, as well as a picture of the location in which that item was so that you can look for it a little bit later on. But there's so much here, I would hate for you to buy the first thing that you saw and then spend your souvenir budget and then you find something else that you liked better. We're gonna leave Critter Country behind and head down this path besides the Hungry Bear Restaurant to go into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. At the exit of Rise of the Resistance are these little pop-up carts, if you will. They're always here, so they're not really pop-up, but they have merchandise that you can take a look at. A lot of Resistance-type uh, helmets and uh, you know outfits and apparel here. Let's just poke in and see what they have. Also patches, patches, and oh, some exclusive pins to this area, keychains, magnets, that sort of thing. Look at this Micro Galaxy Squadron Millennium Falcon. That's $59.99. On the reverse side, they have, you know, the same sort of outfits, but a different style and some plastic toy lightsabers. If you're curious on the price of the helmets, 
It's $59.99. My kids loved those lightsabers back there. They were playing with them. I couldn't find a price though, I looked. Uh, they've got stickers on them, but no price on the stickers. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is home to a lot of merchandise options. Disney sure knows how to milk the cash cow. And the primary bulk of those places are gonna be here in the marketplace. Every single storefront and window in here is going to be a different store with different merchandise, all Star Wars themed stuffies, toys, and more. If you want your very own Jedi robe, you can also purchase those here. And the Sith robe is $129.99. I'm going to assume the Jedi is the same price. Look, they even have like the Rey slash Leia sort of outfit. The smaller one here is $79.99. And this style here is $99.99. There's even a store with shirts as well as cups and mugs. If we pass through Ronto Roasters, our next store is gonna be straight ahead. And that's Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. This is a really fun store for the Star Wars fan because they have props, memorabilia, and more from the Star Wars movies located here in the store. Additionally, they have some of the same merchandise we saw in the market, but they also have some more Jedi and lightsaber specific merchandise in here. When we came out of Doc Ondar's, we actually walked back towards Ronto Roasters because we need to turn left and head down here for our next couple of stores. This area over here is Savvy's Workshop where you can build your own lightsaber. You do have to sign up ahead of time. And then this is going to be the Droid Depot. Again, this is where you can build your own droid, but you do have to sign up ahead of time to do that. But you can also purchase other merchandise in here without any sort of a reservation. So you can come in here and take a look and see what they have. Yet again, more Star Wars merchandise, but this time it's all droid themed. If you do build your own droid and you want some additional parts to swap out when you get home, you can buy these parts and exchange them in the droid that you've already purchased. However, you can't assemble your own droid from those spare parts because there are parts that you can only get if you do the um, little program here. That room spills into yet another with more droid merchandise. There's some more parts for your droids over there. But over here, this is like some home goods stuff. We've got an apron, a tea towel, my favorite. I use this as a popcorn bucket. This thing was expensive a couple of years ago. Let's see if it's gone up in price. Nope, still $74.99. So I bought this thing, oh man, four or five years ago now and uh, I still have it, still use it, and the price has not gone up, so that's pretty great. We've got some bowls here. This is new, I've never seen these bowls before, and this says it's $49.99, and there are three of them in there. We've got the uh, R2-D2 bowl, and then it looks like a BB-8 bowl, the white one, and then the yellow one, I don't know what that is. It's possible that the yellow was the yellow there on Chopper, so it could be Chopper. There's one final store in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and it's located next to Kylo Ren's shuttle that's over here and this is gonna be a first order themed store here you'll find a stormtrooper merchandise as well as some Sith outfits if we were to head right from here we'd head towards the Millennium Falcon but we're going to turn left and head out of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge into the back end of Fantasyland. And back here behind the castle are a couple of different stores. Over off to our right, we're going to find Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And this is where you're gonna find the most outfits for purchase at Disneyland for the different princesses, costumes, apparel, that uh, you can dress up your little prince or princess in a Disney costume. Now, these are mostly princess costumes, but they do have a few prince options over here as well. We've got Peter Pan, and um, oh man, I'm not up to date on um, my Sleeping Beauty lore. I know Aurora, but I don't know the guy, sorry. And it looks like the price on most of these outfits is going to be $64.99. Except for Snow White, for some reason Snow White is $99.99. 
Across the way from there is Merlin's Marvelous Miscellany. This is a pretty small store with a very little amount of merchandise, but it is usually pretty unique from the rest of the park. So just wanted to come in here. Yep, it looks like they still have some of the uh, Joey Chu line of merchandise. They used to have that all over the place. And now this store is like the last little holdout that still has some. It's been here for quite some time, e even after they've removed it from the rest of the park. There's also just gonna be a lot of Fantasyland themed merchandise in this store that you can come check out. Really nice looking stuff too. Like this, here comes Trouble Pillow. And that pillow is $39.99. Check out this Mr. Toad ornament too. Isn't this fun? And that's $26.99. Ooh, look at this, Peter Pan's flight. Does it move, does it move? I almost like afraid to, no, it doesn't move. It's like almost afraid to touch it, but it doesn't move. That would be cool if it moved. And the Yeti from Matterhorn Mountain. There's some really cool little ornaments in here. Right next to the castle entrance is the Enchanted Chamber. And there are more costume related things in here. In fact, I'm not even sure if you can purchase that stuff. I think it might be an exclusive experience. In this little merchandise cart here, they have a whole stand of ears that are all princess themed different type of princesses, different looks that you can check out here. Um, this one's got a tiara on it, look at that. Now behind the Mad Tea Party is a store called the Mad Hatter. Now this is one of two Mad Hatter locations in Disneyland. And here you're gonna find even more ears and more hats, lots and lots of options. We've uh, left the other part of Fantasyland behind and we're at It's a Small World now and right next to the exit of It's a Small World is the It's a Small World toy shop. And in here is a lot of Fantasyland themed merchandise but they also have uh, quite a bit of Encanto stuff and princess things in general over here are some, some princess dolls. I don't know what these are called but they got a whole bunch of them and the boxes that you could purchase them. It says $34.99 for those. And then there's this whole section on the other side that's just Wish. So a lot of that same stuff we saw in the Emporium, but uh, here it is in the It's a Small World store as well. Oh, on the other side of that stanchion thing, we have even more of those dolls. Sometimes they have some It's a Small World merchandise in there. I did not see any today. Looks like they've got some other things taking up the space, but um, you know, it, it'll probably rotate. Now we need to go into Mickey's Toontown. Now the only store in here is actually to the left of the entrance to Mickey's Runaway Railway. And it's called Engineer Souvenirs. This is the gift shop that you go through when you exit the attraction. And as you might guess, this store is mostly focused on Mickey and Friends merchandise. But in addition to apparel, they have toys, games, stuffies, and more. It looks like they even have the Play in the Park line of merchandise here. But of course, it wouldn't be Engineer Souvenirs without some Mickey's Runaway Railway exclusive themed merchandise from wallets to lounge flies to shirts and a hoodie. <laughs> That's my kids. A cup. <laughs> they got a, a cup there. And ooh, a picnic blanket because it's the perfect picnic. Even these mini ears for $34.99. There was nothing else in Toontown or this end of Fantasyland, so now we have to walk back towards the Matterhorn and go into Tomorrowland. But we gotta walk around the Disneyland band in the process. And right here at the base of Matterhorn, oh, now they're doing Star Wars. My two favorite songs back to back, I love it. Um, we have Le Petit Chalet. And this is just a small little like storefront. I see a lot of 2024 merch there. And uh, yeah, that looks like probably about the bulk of what they sell here. Ba, 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 ba. Now we're walking into Tomorrowland. Tucked in this back little nook here in Tomorrowland, next to Autopia, is the Winner's Circle. This little storefront is kind of like Le Petit Chalet. We've got some mini ears and some hats. And it is really windy over here, but we have some more hats and a few Mickey themed items back there. Oh, I've not seen this anywhere else. We've got a fan. Looks like a, uh, I don't really know what the theme of that fan is. Nightmare Before Christmas, that's what it is. Nightmare Before Christmas fan. 
And the price? Not listed, but they've got fans back here. And check this out, Bantha Burger Visor. I don't think I've seen that before. So a couple of items that I've actually never seen back here. Next up, we have this little place here at the base of the old Astro Orbiter area, and it's called Tomorrow Landing. And this is your pin location in Tomorrowland, very similar to Westward Ho and Frontierland. And just as similar, they also have magic bands. We're staring straight ahead at Space Mountain. The store to the right-hand side, this is the store that you exit Star Tours into, and it's called the Star Trader. People always ask me, where can you get your hat? And it's not always here, but when it is, Star Trader is the place that you're going to find it. It looks like right now they have a different style of Star Wars hat out. Um, that does not mean that they will not get the one that I'm wearing back. They just rotate in general what they have here. So uh, this is just looks like the current theme of the style. I am no Jedi. They have a lot of fun Star Wars and Grogu themed merchandise here if you love the Mandalorian. Star Wars isn't all this store sells though. They do have some Marvel merchandise in here as well. It is a fairly large store, so I can't poke around the whole thing, but uh, you'll have to check it out. But I did want to point out the play in the park line is here. And they have a build your own lightsaber station. Now this is the cheap lightsaber. This is not the Savvy's Workshop lightsaber. It's plastic pieces, but um, you know, it's more of an affordable option for your kids as opposed to Savvy's. And the prices on that is $29.99 for a single blade and $44.99 for a double blade. Check this out, Leia ears. <laughs> That's fun. And uh, more outfits, little costumes for kids and things. Check out this tumbler. It's the same tumbler, just one side of it. Uh, so that's one side, that's the other side. This is really cool. I like this. Uh, how much? How much? That's the question. There it is. $27.99. Across the path at the exit to Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters is Little Green Men Store Command. And this is going to have what you expect. Toy Story merchandise. And they've got a lot of it. This is a pretty hefty sized store for just Toy Story. But it does have a little bit more than just Toy Story. It is just Pixar in general, too. But it's still mostly Toy Story. <laughs> and we're back to Main Street, USA. We left Tomorrowland behind, and now we're going to start working our way down this left-hand side of Main Street. And the first up is going to be Plaza Point Holiday Shop. Now, it doesn't matter what time of year you come, you may want to buy a Christmas ornament for your tree to commemorate your trip to Disneyland for that year. I know my family does that. And the Plaza Point Holiday Shop is where you're gonna to wanna to come to look for all of these wonderful ornaments that you may look to purchase. They also have personalization available where you can get the year added to that ornament. But there are more than ornaments. There are some home good type style items here as well. And then just like on the other side of Main Street USA, uh, this side is going to spill in store after store after store. You can just like walk straight through all the stores. So this is a totally different store here, a different type of merchandise you can find in here. But it uh, looks like we still do have some Christmassy themed like blankets over that way and uh, more cups and mugs over here off to our left. We've got the classic Mickey and Minnie. We've got grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, abuelo. But then some more standard ones here too. Well, not standard, but I mean like non-personalized ones. Here's another crystal store and we're not gonna go into it. Here in this store that we just walked into are Illy, 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 Illy forever. I don't know, but uh, they're dolls. And they've got apparel and little accessories for them. In addition to the actual dolls themselves. And it looks like those dolls are $29.99. And that's found in this store, which also has, again, just more merchandise. A lot of these things are gonna be apparel for the most part for you to check out, look around, see what style you prefer. Here are some more like classic jackets. I know somebody was asking me, you know, does Disneyland have like a black hoodie? And, and here's a, a zip up hoodie that's pretty classic, just the D on the front and the Disneyland on the back. And then yet another store with a lot of different stuff in here, a lot. But perhaps something unique we didn't see yet. Uh, we've got this little purse. 
and the price on this is $29.99. There's also a matching sun hat for $34.99 and matching sweatshirt. Couldn't find the price on the sweatshirt, but they do have a button-up shirt as well. And the button-up shirt is $44.99. This store also has a Disneyland snacks line of merchandise. How fun is that? We've got, let's go take a look here. That's the Mickey Rice Krispie, the Mickey Pretzel, the Mickey Waffle, a Mickey Donut, uh, a hot dog, the Mickey Ice Cream Sandwich, got a Dole Whip, looks like pizza, uh, candied apple, We've got a whole bunch of stuff on here, and they have that line of merchandise in a t-shirt, a different t-shirt, uh, looks like a blanket over here, a uh, spirit jersey, We've got a spirit jersey version of it, even a Crocs version of it. That's that's pretty pricey though, $69.99. Even a zip-up hoodie and a sun hat. Two different styles of sun hats. And that was the Disney Clothiers Limited. We had to step out briefly because the next store over is the Market House, which is actually just Starbucks. So we have to bypass Starbucks and keep walking down to the next shop. And that shop is going to be the 20th Century Music Company. And this is another pin trading store. A lot of different pin options in here. Connected to that store is the Magic Shop. Got a lot of different magic tricks that you can purchase and cards, cards that you can purchase as well. In fact, I have a couple of these, uh, Theory 11. They are an awesome brand, very high quality. I have the Star Wars one and I have the uh, Avengers one. I have the purple Avengers one over here, but um, they've got a couple of different styles of Theory 11 cards. They even have books that you can purchase about magic and how to do tricks. And once again, that store spills into another one and this one is directly opposite the Emporium. So if we were to come out this door, you're gonna see where a lot of people get their photos, the front of the Emporium, so we're directly opposite that. And you can see great moments with Mr. Lincoln over there. So just spatially, that's where we are. And we're gonna turn around and come back into this store. And this is the type of stuff that you can find in here. Uh, usually pretty similar to what the Emporium has, but they usually also do have some unique stuff in here that I don't find in the Emporium, so definitely don't skip on checking this place out. Over here next to Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is another Mad Hatter. And just like the last Mad Hatter, this is going to be a place where you can find lots of hats, mini ears, and Mickey ears. Here's one I haven't seen yet, an R2-D2 set of ears. Now we're actually gonna walk through the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln gallery for a moment because there's another store and Goofy was out there greeting guests and I didn't wanna get in the way of the line or anything, but uh, there is one final store and you can purchase a lot of paintings and portraits in here, gallery items. You can also usually see a master artist working on something. You can come in here and take a look at the paintings. You can look or you can purchase. They are pretty pricey though. Like this painting of Peter Pan is 399, but it's a limited edition print. If you see a portrait in this type of like framing and with the plastic wrap, these are not like originals. And so they're significantly cheaper. For instance, this is, so oh, it doesn't have a price, but I feel like they're usually in the uh, like 30 to $40 range, not the $400 range. And the last store here is Disney Anna. And this is kind of like an extension of the gallery. They've got gallery type things in here, uh, silhouettes, frames. But we also just have some classic merchandise, the Disney era line. This whole thing right here is the Disney eras. And we've got some statues. A uh, little lamp, that's a lamp right there, the water tower. And uh, yeah, that, you can see it, obviously. And that's it. Every single store, well, for the most part, we skipped some of the crystal places at Disneyland. If you enjoyed this tour, hit the like and subscribe button. Still got questions, drop them in the comments below. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.